Hey Gemini, Michelle B here. How is Mercury retrograde going to be affecting your love life in the next few weeks? Let's get a look at the cards, find out what your messages are and what to do about it. Stay tuned. Hey Gemini, here I am at the marina in Bellingham, Washington, just really loving it because it is Memorial Day. It's so beautiful outside. As you know, I love to travel around. I love to cruise around in my, my Charlie Bird here, my, my beautiful F-150 pickup truck. He's just, he's great. This is my bed back here, but I put my kitchen in the back but since I'm up here recording. Anyway, when you see people strolling by in the window here, just know that they're having a really, really nice morning also because <laughs> it's nice and early and it's a beautiful time for an early morning dog walk or jog or whatever it is that they do. Anyway, let's find out what you need to know if you uh, resonate with this reading. If it works for you, take it. If it doesn't, that's all right. I guess the messages weren't for you. Let's just find out. For those of you who really, who this really works for, what are the messages? And we're going to look at some solutions, some advice for going forward. According to the cards, we've got three three cards. Mercury retrograde, as we know, sends things topsy turvy. So that's what that wheel of fortune is all about. Everything's always, everything's con constantly changing, but it's always changing in our favor, even if it doesn't look like it at this moment. You're like these cycles keep going on and on. Why do we keep going around in the same cycles where we do the same crap? And it seems like every three months we almost break up. What? How <laughs> could we almost break up every three months? Do you see that? I think it's a lot of it has to do with two people that just won't budge with that, with that four of pentacles being there. Two people that are just like, you know what? This is my life. This is the way I like it to be. <laughs> I don't want to change for anybody else. I love things just the way they are. And you're both that way. So when, when it comes time for the universe to say, okay, time to level up every three months, every three months, the universe is like, time to level up. It's time for both of you to make, make a couple of little sacrifices in order for both of you to grow together simultaneously on parallel paths. You guys are like, no, don't want to do it yet. Not ready. Okay. <laughs> That's what came out. That's what came out, sweetie. So let's get some advice because like, are you tired? I, that's why you're here, right? Because you're tired of going around in the same cycles around and around again. Already some advice cards came out. We had the, um, the page of wands, which is it's like this fiery energy. That's like, it's, it's all about making a commitment to helping each other grow. The cards want you, want you to keep in mind that with that, with that Empress being there, saying make a commitment to the fertility of both of your lives it's asking it's asking you to to what well, we somebody's got to be the first one right somebody's got to be the first one to make the sacrifice to take the step forward and what it's like your 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 sweetheart the person that you're thinking about if you if you're the one that's going to go ahead and do that first your sweetheart is going to respond positively to that to you being like okay so I'm going to put some vulnerability on the line and put myself in a position where I can like possibly get my heart broken I could possibly lose something out of this situation but your your sweetheart's got to respond positively to that and and then like that it's like a, a fruitful union it's going to grow from there it's a really yeah that's that's what the empress is all about it's the big picture fruitful fruitful union it's time to end the cycles but that world remember that world came up in the reverse it's just the same cycles going around and around it's time to end the cycle of being I feel like these two guys are the same guys you see that how they're kind of the same dudes it's time to end the cycle of being afraid to uh, um, like there's a shield you're keeping you're keeping your resources you're keeping your love you're keeping your, um, 
yeah you keep you're keeping your your own emotional fragility to yourself right protecting yourself with this shield here and then you're like I decided I'm gonna go see some other people I decided I'm gonna date other people I decided I want to keep my options open that's what this guy's all about right so those are the cycles that you keep going in and um, it's time to stop it's time to turn it around close that out if you I, hey if you don't want to if you're like I just cannot trust this person and I totally like want to do something else I want to go all the way that's but it was in reverse I don't think that's the case I don't think you want to go all the way off the rails I think you still have something there's more to do with this person but I feel like you're gonna st still go around in the same cycles where you're like uh, uh, three steps forward one step back you're going to keep going around in that, those cycles until you completely allow yourself to be committed to growing not only yourself but the other person as well even if you might lose something out of it but that is love right true love is letting yourself within reason letting yourself be vulnerable to possibly like sacrificing a little bit of yourself in order to benefit someone else Okay, within reason. Come on now. <laughs> I love you, Gemini. I'm gonna close out from here. But I, oh, it's so good to spend time with you on Memorial Day. Beautiful view, and I'll see you later on. 